right, let's do it. All right, everybody, how you doing? We've got semifinals here of the Guardian only no protections sub weekly tournament. We got Nuda, the villain of the tournament. I gotta say, uh, time and time again, he has proven himself the man who will go triple defense, camp his Titan until 30 minutes, and take it uh, versus suspension. Kind of the wild card. Uh, suspension, a really talented player who squanders a bit at times, and I think. Uh, you know, this this could be his big break, ironically, in the Guardian tournament. We'll see. This could definitely go either way. I'm here with Maserides. How's it going, guys? Nice. More enthusiastic this time, Maz. I love it. <laughs> and we are seeing two Guardians that we've yet to see in this event, which is so awesome because uh, I've been really looking forward to seeing Ares. I wasn't sure if people were going to uh, build or not build and play him because uh, he can't go into more of those... Uh, uh, or items that are in the protections trees. Um, but he's such a strong uh, character in general at dealing damage. And, you know, one of the uh, most powerful uh, guardians in general. So you gotta, uh, or you gotta respect his 1v1 potential here, especially if you uh, are fans yeah. of the, the Lassus 1v1 days way back. Oh, yeah, for sure. Air is definitely. Huge amount of damage come out with these chains and flame combination. The only struggle I think Ares has is wave clear, and this is where Sylvanas excels. He's a guard which is known for his wave clear with his auto attacks, being able to hit a lot of minions, being AoE. Exactly, we'll see how yeah. the Ares copes with the amount of pressure that the Sylvanas can bring with his auto attacks. Mm -hmm. And this is such a new to pick, I feel like, ironically, um, just to be able to have this safe and secure clear uh, and not have to go on the aggressive. He can if he wants to, but he doesn't, uh, you know, he's not obligated to, whereas uh, suspension is really, really up to him to outplay here and make make the strong plays with those chains, make sure that he's hitting all those uh, uh, skill shots. And uh, to be fair, it's not that hard against a Sylvanas, though. Uh, Sylvanas not a very mobile god, um, and he doesn't have that much unpredictability in his patterns. So you can, uh, okay, and, you know, as I say that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I mean, he's, where was he shooting, and where was he shooting from? So that, that was a reach. That was a reach if I've ever seen one. <laughs> no Athena's in this game. But um, <laughs> yeah, I agree with you completely. Savannah's very immobile, very clunky, very big player model as well. Should be pretty easy for suspension to land these chains. And once he does, there's no way for Savannah to get away, really. He hasn't got um, an escape. Also, an interesting interaction is Ares is actually knock up immune whilst casting his flames. And Savannah's all being a knock is out to his advantage and really come up with a clutch play as an immune map knocker. Savannah's picking up the red buff to secure it, but Ares is flanking. I love this start from um, Suspension to go into the Pythag. Uh, he's got the aura there. Uh, it's yeah, a strong sure. item in general. He's got cooldown reduction. Now, Nuda didn't go beads against Ares, which is, you know, yeah, really curious. I'm thinking that yeah. it's because he's going to use his ult for the most part to CC him unit. Perhaps um, he realized that he's not going to be able to knock him out because of the flames, so just use it as a, basically a CC yeah. move and constantly use it to immune the ultimate coming out from the air. Yeah, knowing Nuda, that's that's probably, you know, I, I, we will not see an aggressive ult unless it's going to guarantee a kill. Uh, he will probably, almost definitely use it just for the uh, the CC immunity, um, and that that age is more or less is against uh, is for the chains uh, instead of the the ultimate itself, obviously. Uh, but yeah, yeah, if he does get him in a in a compromising position without an ultimate into this tower, uh, it just is not going to save you, given that Ares can follow you so easily and and you know lock you down with chains on the way, hurting you uh, so much. But uh, yeah, Nuda being the, the type of calculated player that he is, I, I doubt we'll see it, but Suspension's gotta look to force that ultimate from uh, uh, from Nuda more often so that he can you know put him in that kind of compromising position. Okay, I know why I didn't go to beats now. Yeah, He's going to Stone, yeah. Of Gaia. Stone of Gaia. And that's another reason that uh, Ares probably isn't one of the premier picks here. But when you think about it, 
Ares, his ult isn't the main thing that you worry about in Duel. The chain's damage really are are what, you know, uh, set him above the other Guardians in terms of damage output. So I don't think losing his ult is everything here for him uh, in a Guardian versus Guardian matchup. Oh, for sure. And you got to remember that even though the pull won't take place, the damage still will. He's right. still going to yeah, be doing exactly. a lot of damage with that Ultimus. And the Chains and Flames combination will be a, more than enough damage to take down this survivor, especially since no defense is allowed. I really do think that as this game goes on, it becomes more of a winning matchup for the Ares. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's interesting having said that... Sylvanas is, uh, is a strong god uh, uh, when it comes to his auto attack potential. He's one of my favorite guardians for sure. But when oh. I... You know, oh, okay, nice oh, pull. Yeah, but see, you're never going to see that all. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, coming, you know, thinking about his uh, potential against other guardians in matchups like these, I've never really even pondered it. So I, I don't know how he would how he would do if he should even go into an auto attack build. He probably shouldn't because auto attack is best built into a more defensive build where he can, you know, kind of tear through the, the prote uh, protections with uh, effective pen. Um, here, I think he's just gonna want to go for that big burst, those high numbers, and the healing will will really be a big asset to him. Oh yeah, he gets a pull here, but no, he didn't even go for it. I don't know if he had it. Maybe not, but I really do agree with you. I think that the auto attack there is the potential for it, maybe a bit of attack speed, but I think the burst is definitely going to come into play. But the thing is, I feel like the Ares is going to outburst, even if you're just going for burst versus burst. I feel like perhaps he should go into an auto attack build to have more of a sustained damage and then go for that poke game where he's constantly poking with the auto attacks and then sustain it back up with his heal. We'll see what playstyle and music takes with this. I definitely think there's a potential for both. We'll just see, we'll have to see what he goes into. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's funny to see Nuda picking up the Sylvanas, like, He's never the, the player that picks the, the most OP god that everybody thinks will be available for these tournaments. Uh, for each one that we've seen him do well in, it hasn't been uh, for the you know the sake of somebody not banning out one of the better gods. Uh, it's more just been a gods that suit his play style really well. And I think he's really found it here in Sylvanas, and you got to hand it to him uh, for being able to, uh, to do that. He thinks, he thinks far into these, types, these matchups and these, uh, these gods when it comes to these tournaments. Oh yeah, I agree. Definitely an intelligent player looking for guards which matches his unique playstyle, to put it politely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So oh, nice out. immunity. Using there the we go, already. Oh, no, actually, just I forgot. <laughs> I thought he used bees there. It's like, oh, you didn't need the bees. But um, yeah. yeah, Stone of, of uh, Gaia. Gaia again. Does Stone of Gaia still proc if you CC immune with your ults? Or I wasn't sure how that worked. Um, I've never I seen that interaction. I'm not sure. It shouldn't matter that much regardless, but... Nah, it shouldn't. I'm just curious, mods. On a no. <laughs> it probably will proc, honestly. Yeah, I feel like I don't know how they would differentiate, but maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, so we're seeing Suspension really having a hard time nailing these chains. Uh, even when he hits the first chain, he's having a lot of trouble hitting the follow-up. And I mean, I'm, that's on Sylvanas, who's a very uh, a very large god, a very easy to follow and track. So I, I don't know. I'm not sure if... He used Ares uh, to get here throughout, and he's been uh, practiced on him, or if uh, maybe just some nerves uh, coming into play or something's uh, off. But yeah, you can't really afford to do that. You know, everything rests on your chains with Ares, especially like we were saying, when you don't have the availability of your ult uh, into this matchup. So he's got to, you know, he's got to ride or die by those. Yeah, you got to be landing those chains. Um, we'll see if suspension continues and Ooh, Max, if can... the four months get more of these chains on points, but in the meantime, Sylvanas doing a lot of damage. It seems like he's putting a lot of pressure on the Sylvanas with the superior wave clear and also the sustain. And I really want to see the Ares counter the sustain at some point in the build by going a Divine Ruin and really countering the healing coming up from the Sylvanas. Otherwise, I feel like the Sylvanas is just going to run away with this and be able to out-sustain every single fight. Oops. Um, suspension is holding on to multi pots and health pots here. They both have so many pots still. Did they just never use their pots? They must have used their pots. They're just filling back up. I, guess I so. did not think to even look at the at the potion section. Generally in duel, um, other than chalices, you don't see many pots picked up past the uh, 
you know, past the first few waves. Um, other than late game when people will stack like multi pots. But uh, yeah, we don't, uh, and some of us don't stack multi pots because we're lazy. But yeah, uh, it's really weird to see them both uh, rushing back into these pots. I guess trying to make up for the fact that they don't have protection, so any little bit of damage is going to be uh, dealing a decent amount to them. Maybe. I guess so. Yeah. Or maybe they're just that... both defensively. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think so. But interesting how Anita backed bad just as the red bus spawn, giving up that timer. And allowing suspension to get back. Yeah, he gives him a little bit of a it. position back into this. And look, he finally hit something, but that's so unfortunate. Oh wow. Nuda, um, <laughs> knocks suspension up just as the first chain comes out so that he couldn't secure the second one. Oh, wow. Yeah. The heal coming in big in that fight. Being able to use that heal twice, wants to sustain some health, and the other time just to finish off the so uh, Ares. Really, I really do think Suspension needs to get that anti-heal online as soon as possible mm -hmm. because otherwise it's going to be so hard for him to For sure, and uh, Divine down. Ruin is also... no. Yes. Aura? No, I don't think so. No, no, no. Alright, uh, listen, I don't play Ares and I don't read item descriptions. I was thinking, I wasn't going to say it, I was pretty sure it wasn't. You know what is? Pestilence, and you can't go it. That's rough. Which blade? Yeah. You should go which blade. Ooh, How about that? Be interesting. See, see, that's wait. Aura. Is that an aura though? I don't oh think yeah. That's an aura oh, that's so already. I don't think it is. Mm, you would be wrong. It's uh, <laughs> just as much an aura item as uh, divine rune is. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll, I guess one of us will be flamed in the chat. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this guy throws sticks of dynamite with his autos, and I absolutely did not see that coming. This is, yeah, that this skin is pretty cool, isn't it? He's, yeah, he's a cactus. Know. He's a giant cactus. Yeah, I don't know, man. Just... Oh, that's what I was wondering. I thought my music had um, that instrument. What, what the hell is that instrument? Come on, give me this. Uh, you know, the accordion. No, not accordion, not accordion. The, you know it, Moz, right? I have no idea what you're talking the about. The instrument that he's playing. The one with the, you hold it in one hand, it's a, <laughs> Spiff says it's a banjo, yeah, the harmonica, yes, it's been so long since I've seen a harmonica, but yeah, I thought that was coming from my music, and it's actually the skin, that's also very cool, very cool detailed skin. I like how Nita is placing, he's, um, he's won, but not using it always aggressively, using it for the sustain, the amount of sustain. Really like, really small player, but really like that connect from Anita. Mm -hmm. Man, it might be a little racist, but it's still a cool skin. You know, it's a cool skin. Racist? <laughs> Alright, anyway, wait, anyway, wait. He's got the he's got the Stone of Gaia going. Cultural appropriation with Anne Shadow. And <laughs> no, no, it's just a, it's a bit of a stereotype <laughs> of a, you know, I mean, it's clearly. Anyway, anyway, yeah, big old there, Nuda, Ooh, big Sunder. Sunder. That's actually gonna do so much. The Sunder with tick damage is so funny to watch because the ticks yeah, hit you like sure. trucks. Every single tick is just slamming away at you. And, uh, you know, here you have it, the uh, better push potential of Sylvanas than most Guardians to be able to just uh, at least attack that thing from afar. Yeah, I, I really like Nita's build as well. He's got a really weird build, but it has so much health, and he's a speed demon when he pops his heal. Getting that passive from the Shield of Regrowth, it's going to be really hard for the Ares to land his chains on Mr. Sylvanas when he's moving so fast. Oh, there but, we go. Yeah, finally yeah, uh, a big chain. He hits all three, but it looks like it's a little... It might be too little too late. He's not doing enough damage to Nuda, and Nuda's uh, over time just getting so much more on him. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Gonna be able to burn through. Oh. Aegis comes down, but it's not enough. That heal again, just coming in clutch. Yeah, Aegis actually saved him there. Uh, whereas like we were the... talking about it not being a, uh, a great option uh, earlier, it, it does end up saving him. Uh, and like I said, it, it was the uh, the pickup for the the change in uh, flames, change of flames specifically, not for that ultimate. So it does make sense, and it does end up allowing him to uh, to keep up this play style where he just, uh, you know, tickles him, he walks away, he lets uh, Nuda full commit, um, I'm sorry, lets Suspension full commit, and then um, uh, tries to just rein it all in. 
Yeah, really intelligent pickup from Misa. I really do like it. And his build is so interesting. He still seems to be doing a lot of damage though, relying on that Guardian high base stats on his damage abilities to carry him because he's damaged. Like, he, apart from that Warlock Sash, he literally has no damage on any of the items aside yeah. from the small amount from cooldown boots. Cool coming out, but. Big ultimate. Um, yeah, it's funny how uh, somebody in chat said too, Nuda always finds a way to build defense without building defense. <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> we um, The thing is, if you limit it to no defense and no health items, th there's very little that, that you can pick up in this game. There's very little like you know situational builds. It's just you're building standard uh, pen and damage items. Um, and you know, uh, what is that? That's really, I feel like that's not as fun. There's not as much variety to it. Um, of course, there's going to be instances like this where Nuda's going to find ways, but uh, I don't know. Is Nuda going to win the tournament? That's what we'll, uh, that's what we'll have to see. Is this build uh, OP enough that it will just disrupt everything? Oh, or is it more so, you know, this matchup as well? Um, and uh, Suspension not getting off to a great start with a character that, you know, really needs to get off to a great start. Yeah, I agree. It's just so hard to get off to that great start, though, when you can't clear the wave mm -hmm. effectively. I definitely think this character may be slightly overrated, especially since we've seen it being banned quite a lot as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're not seeing it showcase as strongly as it could have been. I don't know why Spencer's still looking at that man. He was still looking at him. He yeah, allowed him it... to get the final auto that actually allowed that last wisp to kill. Yeah, I think he was dead there in main regards. That's you think so? Okay, it was enough. But, um... Really strong play coming out from New Taxi. Ares does get that Divine Ruin online, but is it too little too late? I don't know. I feel like this is going to be extremely hard now to be able to combo him. Ares relies on his combo damage. He needs to land those chains, he needs to get those flames, and that's the burst that he has. But when your burst isn't killing with Sylvanas, when he's healing it off, when he's out sustaining it, it's going to be very difficult to burst him. Yeah, and I mean, look at uh, Nuda's next pickup. It's Gem of Iso. So oh he, he's not only going to be slowing Ares, but it's another health item picked up. How much is Every he sitting at? Every single item he has, except for his boots, has health on. Even the starter item does, I believe. 3,509 health. Versus 1,700, he has double his health. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Doesn't Sylvanas get some, mistake me if I'm wrong, but doesn't Sylvanas get some protections as well in his, um, in his two, in his heal? Or is that uh, that's, older? Yeah, I thought, uh, is that true? I'm not certain on that. I think you're thinking of with the, with the, what's it called, that helmet. Oh yeah, that could right, be right. Right, right? Because that's generally, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's such yeah, a that good combination. Be, yes. and a, but I, I might be wrong, though. I feel like he did at some point, but I think they've nerfed um, Sylvanas. Maybe. He went oh, for he a does get Prot on here. You win. You got it. You got it. Oh, I did. Okay. Okay, so they gave his two what people used to buy that item for. All right, fine. I'm going to win again. Guys. I'm allowed to be wrong. Maz isn't. All eyes are on him. <laughs> yeah, the pitchforks are on me. It's so funny to see the difference in these builds, but at the same time, I don't think suspension like why no health. You know, he needs something. Like I was just saying, one thousand seven hundred health on Ares. Like that's crazy. There's no defense allowed, but there is certainly health allowed, and he needs to uh, he needs to adapt to that. I want to see a Soul Reaver. That's what I want to see. Yeah, yeah. Soul Reaver would be huge here. Yeah. Like, taking my percentage health away from the Savannahs when literally his whole build is basically just health. That's yeah, you, just you can go health. it. You can go it because um, yeah, Ares doesn't have poke damage. So, if he goes in, you know, he's going in. Yeah, he's looking to full burst, and Soul Reaver complements that completely. Because the one awful thing about Soul Reaver is that you can't choose when it procs, so, and it's such a long uh, cooldown for you know for something that you can't really uh, accommodate for too well in your uh, in your playstyle, when it's up and when it's not. Um, but you know, with like I said with Ares, it's it's about you know it's all in. So when you do hit that chain and it's Soul Reaver procs, you just you know you just go with it. Yeah, I agree completely. And I was right about Witchblade, and he does need that. Witchblade is an aura item. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I was wrong. That would have given him health. Give him a little bit of movement speed. Be able to catch up with the big guy here. There's a lot yeah, of damage though. Is there's a lot of damage. And I mean, it would be a crazy yeah, to see if suspension could turn this with the damage that he's going into. I would love to see Nuda's build get bopped. I know so many people would too. Because it is such a disgusting <laughs> abomination of a build. I know. As I, impartial I as I am. I agree completely. <laughs> I want to yeah. see suspension go down. Yeah. No, not suspension. I want to see uh, Savannah's go down. Ooh, okay. okay. That would be disgusting. Bro. Wow, look at the damage he's doing right now. Oh, very nice Aegis, actually. I like that, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Oh, wait. Oh, you have an Another Aegis. Aegis. Yeah, Spear Aegis. is doing so much work here. Spear is such a fantastic item on Ares, uh, proccing on those chains and the flames. Yeah, it basically procs on every damaging ability he has, except for Vios. Like, yeah, and it'll work essential. through the uh, protections that Nude is gaining on his two as well, so it's not like he's uh, uh, wasting uh, Pen there, because it's not just the uh, initial protections that Nude has on his god, but it's also the uh, uh, the added protections that he's gaining. So, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a smart pickup. Yeah, I do like the spear coming out. I mean, it was still consider this that was a huge amount of damage and he's four levels down right exactly if he gets there he can do yeah. this if I he, just, catches yeah. up, he needs one health item and he away. is finally building into it yeah he's getting that house what do you think he'll go do you reckon he'll go gem, i really hope he doesn't go real? warlocks here because it's it's too no late. i agree yeah warlocks would be a poor choice in my opinion he needs to get some ink useful now we go gem of iso i don't know how that works with uh aries um i guess it would mean that his flames slow as well as his chains yeah i, I, I don't know it could it could be okay i want to see the ethereal staff uh, that's i think that would be the best option here wouldn't my ethereal opinion. staff on nuda be disgusting because of how much health he's got if he sells something for it i guess he doesn't feel comfortable getting rid of anything in his build though I feel like Newton's committed to this build. Yeah. This, is, this is this is Newton. This is his build. Four thousand one hundred health. My God. But suspension's Neither getting the there. Machine. He's he's over the halfway mark. He's at two thousand one hundred. He's gonna do it. Newton's hit level twenty now as well, so he's not getting any stronger. But he's still he's still not able to get that Phoenix down as well. Suspension definitely does have the opportunity if he continues this to catch up and oh really i'm sorry maz i had to correct myself because everybody think i'm an idiot i'm thinking of uh old ethereal staff the one that uh, that uh what's it, what was it it would combine off of your total health oh yeah yeah i know what you mean they can i thought you were going the with the fact that it has a slight like a mini soul waiver effect so yeah no I that's not what i was mind. thinking of at all <laughs> i you had no you idea just kept quiet and gone along with it, it would have been yeah really yeah <laughs> no i was thinking of the old yeah mm -hmm. so they completely got rid of an old uh all right where is now it's not the time now it's not the time but <laughs> we see suspension trying to clear this up and uh nuda with his build isn't aggressive enough to take down the structures is one thing so you see suspension being able to get into the late game point i don't think he should aggress here i know he wants to he's he's like He's spent right now from this annoying battle against Nuda, but he needs to just hold out until he hits 20 and full build, and then just fight him. Yeah, agreed. Because this Nuda lead is can't closing. Do this lead is closing. He was level 16 compared to a level 20 Sylvanas, and now he's level 18 compared to a level 20 Sylvanas. Mm -hmm. Nuda is maxed out on level. Suspension is not. He's catching up. And, and Ares uh, chains, by the way. Moss, you know what? They do percentage health. Not change, really? but but flames. Oh, really? Somebody told me in chat. I'm completely b believe in them, and if they're they're shitting on me, I'm, <laughs> I'm falling for it. But I'm so sorry, by the way, guys, that my cast is like not knowledgeable enough about everything because and maybe a lot of things but listen we're in uncharted territory here yeah. we don't build e staff in duel you don't build you don't play aries we don't know about his chains i don't give a shit about his chains we are seeing completely new guards these guns are not typical guys you see playing against each other in ranked duel so i've never seen these guys in my life 
Yeah, I don't know what, who what they is are. that god? Ah, uh, Nudax. That, sword, that one's a cactus. I have no idea. Mm, yeah, he's a cactus. Uh. <laughs> um, they started adding American gods. Oh, I'm not American, so I can't agree with you. <laughs> But yeah, so it actually does um, do uh, percentage uh, uh, percentage of health, and it's a small percentage, but it is there. Yeah, I definitely think that will help suspension in this matchup. Man. Oh shit! It goes up to twenty four percent max health damage. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's actually really good. And Nuda that's probably doesn't sharp. know that. Like the rest of us, Nuda probably doesn't know that. Also, I have no idea why Nuda is always wait. Suspension didn't wait, man. He could he could lose off of this. There's a lot of damage, and he missed the chain. Yeah. I think he's going down here, man. Uh, Desperation all. Oh, he's crazy. Oh, but he's coming oh, he's back. crazy. He ages, he he's ages. out of his mind. He's oh, out of his god. goddamn mind. Suspension with the turnaround. My god. That was very ballsy. I can't even believe it. It looks like he met it. What did he use? He just... I thought it was over. He I had all the pots in the world. You know what's smart? Pots against Sylvanas ticks. Maybe that's what the the secret was with all those pots. Pots against Sylvanas ticks. They're, it's doing a lot. So I think that, that actually is legit what it was. And it's yeah, pots against incredible. Sylvanas ticks that aren't doing much because Nuda's disgusting build. Like, come on, suspension, you can do this. But he's also Just got play. oh yeah, he's also got crazy life steal because of uh, Pythags um, plus divine. No, never mind. It's just Pythags, not crazy life steal. Not even mind bubble. Like maybe it's a little. All right, maybe it's some life steal. <laughs> But yeah, but the cooldown will come in handy there. As soon as those chains were down, after we used them three times, they were up again as soon as um, he'd used them. The maximum amount of cooldown he's gone is really coming into play, really helping him in these fights. And now I think Suspension's crazy because he sold his E-Staff and got Rod, and he absolutely should get Rod, but he needs to get rid of something to hold on to this Rod because he, he needs help. He, still, he can't just go all in right now. I don't know. We'll see because it's a huge power increase and look yeah, at Yeah, it's a lot of power, but he just got interrupted hardcore. Oh, he's stacking a lot of pots, but oh, I don't know if that's no. enough. Oh, it's over. Does he <laughs> does he lose? I think he Nuta loses. comes in and gets Nuda. That Let's son go. of a bitch. Every goddamn time. The bandit himself. He just, yeah, if he was going to go the rod, he needed to sell something else to get health because he put himself way too far at risk there. Nuda doesn't have that much damage, but he's still a full build uh, support with a lot of, with a 3k pot in hand too. You know, you need some health to go up against that, man. Yeah, it definitely hurts him, the fact that Nuda has so much health. Wait, it's not so over. But it, it it is fire creeps, percent. though, this is going to be tough. Fire creeps for Ares, man. Yeah. You know why Nuda couldn't end there? He's got, like, no power, man. <laughs> he had any, like, pen or anything. I mean, I guess... Oh, no, pen is actually a good idea for Nuda, too. It's, like, it's really silly that he doesn't have any, given that uh, Nuda's 2 is going to just... Uh, I'm not Nudis 2, I'm sorry. Suspensions 2 is giving him prots um, and the innate prots that he has. I think it's a little, you know, a little ridiculous not to have any pen here. He could at least go um, an obsidian shard, or at least go just pen boots. I don't, I don't know, man. Nuta's is saying he doesn't need it, and it's working. He's, he seems to be doing well with it. It's a gross build, but it seems to be working for him. I think this would only work on Savannah, so just because of the sustain he has, like, I don't think you'd see this build have as much success on like. A Kuzumbo or a Kabrakan. Or... Yeah, yeah. Like I said, he synergizes these builds with these gods, and he thinks ahead. And he knows what he wants to do. I gotta say though, I'm enjoying seeing Sylvanas played. So I am, you know, uh, as much as we joke about Nuda, you know, of course, guys, give this man some props and respect. Whether he wins or loses this, he uh, he's definitely a very formidable player in these events, um, and he does a, a very strong job. Oh wow, it's really coming down to the wire. Yeah. That Aegis. 
But that tick is gonna do is the tick slowed him so enough. So much faster. Yep. Yeah. The tick yeah. slowed and he's so fast. My god, so fast with that shield of Regal of Prague, able to catch up to the Ares and finish him off and move that the Titan Falls. Really, really great stuff to Nudev. Um, suspension with a very strong effort.